guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Philo. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on your post notifications bell because you don't want to miss any of my videos. We are 39 days away from our Super Bowl, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And we have some official matches after Elimination Chamber. And we have some potential feuds that we are getting to unravel, unleash, and get excited about. So let's get into some of the WrestleMania card. And let me give you guys the final predictions before everything gets official for WrestleMania. Let's first talk about the official matches after Elimination Chamber. So Drew McIntyre won the Elimination Chamber. And he's going on to WrestleMania again. He's getting another chance to uh, win the World Heavyweight Championship in front of the WrestleMania crowd. He has a chance to do what he didn't do at WrestleMania to get his big moment in front of the crowd this time. Something that he couldn't do at WrestleMania. Um, at WrestleMania. What WrestleMania was it? WrestleMania 2020. WrestleMania 32, I believe. No. Um, I don't remember. But... At that WrestleMania, uh, um, Drew McIntyre, 37, 36, WrestleMania 36, um, uh, Drew McIntyre couldn't, he won the World Heavyweight Championship, but not in front of the crowd, uh, in front of, uh, no one in attendance at the Performance Center. So this year, he has another chance to get it done in front of 10,000 plus people. And I do believe that Drew McIntyre can get it done this year. This year is his opportunity and his moment in front of 10,000 people. Um, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship is going to be an awesome match in front of the crowd. I do know that they had like two matches before. You can even say they had four matches before. But at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, I think they're going to put on a fantastic match. Next up, another match confirmed. Becky Lynch won the Elimination Chamber for the women. And she's going on to WrestleMania 40 to challenge for the Women's World Championship against Rhea Ripley, part of the Judgment Day, Mommy versus the man at WrestleMania. These two women have been going their separate ways for the last year now. Becky Lynch going her separate way, going down to NXT to put over uh, some NXT talent. Tiffany Stratton um, was the biggest name that Becky Lynch helped down in her NXT Women's Championship uh, reign, uh, becoming the NXT Women's Champion, and then coming back to the main roster, finding herself in the uh, in the um, War Games match with Charlotte Bianca. And, uh, and Shotzi. And now they built herself to go to the Elimination Chamber. She won the Elimination Chamber from number one. And now she has Rhea Ripley at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. We are getting Mommy versus the man at WrestleMania. I don't think they ever faced each other one-on-one. -on -one. So watching this match is going to be amazing. And I think they are going to put 
an amazing match for the WrestleMania crowd. Mommy versus the man for the Women's World Championship at WrestleMania. Next up, let's talk about another confirmed match for the show and what I think should main event WrestleMania Night 1. Women's... Um... Women's WWE Women's Champion EO Sky, part of the new formed Damage Control, defending her championship against the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble winner, the role model, Bailey. This match and this feud has been building the fall of Damage Control. I do love the way they're going the way that they're going with this feud um Dakota Kai and Bailey should Bailey trust Dakota Kai this feud has been amazing Triple H gets his flowers for this feud I love how this is going and uh, as the making of this video, this Friday night on SmackDown, uh, the Kabuki Warriors, uh, Kyrie Sane, the women's tag team champions, Kyrie Sane and Asuka are defending their championships. Uh, or no, they're not defending, but they're going to have a match with Dakota and Bailey, And Io Sky has to... Um, is going to interfere in this match for sure. But in terms of the WrestleMania match, they are going to put on an amazing match. The first Japanese versus... Um, versus... Uh, Span Spanish um, women's main event. At WrestleMania, if they actually main event, and I hope they do main event. But Bailey versus Eo Sky for the women's championship at WrestleMania is going to be an amazing match. Next up, let's talk about the match that we got robbed for, the match that we thought that was gonna gonna happen. Logan Paul, ladies and gentlemen, is not going to defend his championship against L.A. Knight. Yeah. Because instead, and I am so okay with this, and it's an amazing WrestleMania match, we are getting the Bulldog A.J. Styles, the phenomenal one, going one-on-one -on -one with L. A night, yeah, in a one on one match. After Elimination Chamber, this is the direction they're going because AJ Styles literally killed LA Knight with the steel chair, causing him, causing Drew McIntyre to fall into the cover, eliminating LA Knight. So at WrestleMania, it's going to be LA Knight, yeah. Versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. And uh, this match is going to feed families, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to feed families. And this feud, I can't wait for this feud to start. It's already started. Um, oh man, I can't wait for this feud. I can't wait for this feud. In terms of who's going to win at WrestleMania, maybe LA Knight. It's going to be huge for LA Knight if he beats AJ Styles and the, at the grandest stage of the mall at WrestleMania. Because AJ is a former uh, WWE World Champion. So it's going to be huge for LA Knight to win in the grandest stage of the mall. His first ever WrestleMania match. Um... Uh, ever so that match is going to be huge for the wrestlemania crowd
crowd and the WrestleMania event in general. Next up, let's talk about a feud that I did not see coming a mile away, which is Logan Paul defending his United States Championship against what I think, after Elimination Chamber, Randy Orton. And you can say maybe in a triple threat match even against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. May I just say, before I even dive down into this match, it's not confirmed, ladies and gentlemen, but may I just say, Randy Orton in the mid-card in 2024 is actually insane to me. Like, I can't even process it in my mind. Randy Orton, the 13-time, the 14-time world champion, Randy Orton, in the mid-card in 2024, having a feud with Logan Paul. Like, wow. Wow, I can't, whoa, I can't process it in my mind. But this match is definitely going to feed families, especially if it's going to be a triple threat match with Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Logan Paul the Maverick, Logan Paul. Maybe you can even put them in a ladder match at the grandest stage in the mall for the title. Why not? Why not? If it's a one-on-one -on -one match, sure, just make it a one-on-one -on -one for the title. But if it's triple threat, put it on a... Make it a ladder match. Make it a ladder match, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely, this match is going to be amazing. I do not see Randy Orton winning the U.S. Championship in 2024. But, but if it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match... And if that's what they're planning, then Randy Orton is winning the U.S. Championship at WrestleMania. If it's a triple threat, Kevin Owens is going to win. But this match, I cannot wait for this match and this feud to begin. Next match, before we talk about Gunfer, let's, let's move on from Gunfer for a minute here and talk about the undisputed tag team champions... The Judgment Day defending their championship, not confirmed, against Awesome Truth at WrestleMania. Um, this feud has been on fire. Triple H is doing an amazing job with this feud. Our, first of all, our truth still thinks he's in the Judgment Day. After they had the full, the full, um, beatdown on our truth It's amazing to see this feud, and I love our truth Our truth needs his flowers, ladies and gentlemen. He's an amazing character in WWE. Amazing character in general. I love our truth Um... But at WrestleMania, for sure, the Judgment Day is defending their undisputed tag team championships against Awesome Truth. And this feud is going to be like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus, uh, versus uh, the Usos, in which Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn finally beat the Usos, winning the world, uh, the undisputed tag team championships. As long as I'm talking about the undisputed tag titles... I am going to say, WWE, Triple H, please split up the tag titles. Please split up the tag titles. We need Raw Tag Team Championships and SmackDown Tag Team Championships on their separate brands because we have the new Catch Republic in, in Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate. We have DIY in Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. We have Imperium. We have Awesome Truth, which are which are going to win the tag titles at WrestleMania. 
for sure. We have all these tag teams in WWE who are deserving in winning their tag team championships. And WWE does not want to split up these titles. Please, WWE, please, Triple H, split up these titles. Split up the titles, please. Just please, please, split up the titles. Anyway, Awesome Truth versus The Judgment Day for the World Tag Team Undisputed Champions. Next up, let's talk about another match that is going to feed families Part of the Anawahi family, Jay Uso, main event Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso one on one. This feud has been incredible, building from SummerSlam 2023, where Jimmy Uso cost Jay Uso at the Universal Championship. Causing Roman Reigns to retain his championship. And then costing Jey Uso the... Costing Jey Uso the undisputed World Tag Team Championships. Losing their titles back to the Judgment Day. And recently causing Jey Uso... To lose his opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship and Gunster. And Jay Uso was supposed to win the Intercontinental Championship, but plan the plan changed and Gunther retained his world intercontinental world heavyweight championship. This match is going to feed families at WrestleMania. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso at WrestleMania may even be the, the match of the night for night one. Or night two even, you can say. This match is going to go down. And this match is going to be an amazing match for WrestleMania. Next up, let's talk about... Something, let's talk about the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Gunfer. And this is where I'm stuck. Who is Gunfer going to defend his Intercontinental Championship against at WrestleMania? It could be Chad Gable. It cannot be The Miz. It could be Dominic Mysterio, but I really don't think so because Gunfer is a heel and Dominic is a heel, so I don't want to see heel versus heel at WrestleMania for a championship. I think the most logical answer here is Chad Gable because after we saw... The promo package of Chad Gable and Chad Gable going to Raw General Manager Adam Pearce. It's definitely going to be Chad Gable versus, um, versus Gunfer. Maybe even Sami Zayn versus Gunfer for the Intercontinental Championship, which I'm not going to be mad at because that is, that's going to be fun to watch. And then after WrestleMania, we're going to have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as uh, mid-card champions, which is going to be so cool. Um, I think the most logical answer here is to have Chad Gable have another shot at the Intercontinental Championship. And this time, have Chad Gable win finally in front of a main... In front of 10,000 people, Chad Gable versus Gunfer at WrestleMania is going to be an amazing, amazing match. Plus, they had um, main event matches like house shows together for the Intercontinental Championship. 
So yeah, definitely, I do think, I do definitely think that Chad Gable is going to have that match with Gunfer for the Intercontinental Championship. And that match is going to be amazing to have, to see. Next up, I think WWE is going to do like a WrestleMania showcase match again with DIY New Catch Republic, um, maybe JD McDonough and Dominic Mysterio, The Judgment Day, um, and we need one more tag team. Let's do Legama Delphin, Tasma, and Humberto Carrillo, and, uh, Humberto Carrillo, and, uh, And, oh man, why am I blanking on his name? Oh man, what the heck? Okay, uh, editor is gonna, got, is, it got you guys. Um, Legama Del Fantasma, um, that match is gonna be amazing. Um, DIY is an amazing tag team new catch republic after elimination chamber oh my gosh i can't wait for them to have gold but that match is gonna be amazing probably that's probably gonna happen at wrestlemania because they these tag team needs a spot at wrestlemania and why not put them in a wrestlemania showcase match um Maybe for number one contendership for the tag team championships, even. For the women, I do think that the Kabuki Warriors, part of damage the new damage control, is going to defend their women's tag team championships in the women's showcase match maybe against zoe stark and Shayna baszler um zoe stark Shayna baszler maybe against indy hartwell and candice larray um maybe against a uh, who else is a tag team we um party time in uh in um uh, Katana Chance and Caden Carter. And maybe one other tag team that's blinking my mind right now. Maybe. Hmm. Let's think about this. I'm not too sure, actually. Um. So we have Kabuki Warriors, Zoe Stark and Jaina Baszler, Indy Hartwell, and Candice LeRae. I'm not too sure, actually. Wow. Anyway, that's going to be an amazing match, whoever they come up with. Um... And, yeah, I do think that they're going to defend the titles in a women's uh, showcase match. Maybe have the showcase match in the women's world, uh, women's tag team championships uh, defended in a separate match. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but the last match to talk about here, honestly, or two matches to go... As Roman Reigns is going to defend his Undisputed Universal Championship confirmed against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And ladies and gentlemen, it is happening. It is happening. Finally, after 1,000 days plus. The more I think about this, the more I think Roman Reigns is going to retain because I think that WWE wants Roman Reigns, wants a current, 
I I just don't see them letting this go. I do think that they want Roman Reigns to surpass Hulk Hogan's record, which is which falls right after SummerSlam this year, which means that we're gonna have to run back the clock and have another year of Roman Reigns, the undisputed Universal Champion, as another year as champion for another year which makes which makes Cody Rhodes probably winning another Royal Rumble next year and that is where Cody Rhodes is going to win and finish his story but now I do think and I'm not, I am a Cody crybaby, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Cody crybaby. And I am on Cody Rhodes' side here, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Rhodes is going to finish his story at WrestleMania. Beating the tribal chief, the head of the table, the undisputed universal champion, Roman Reigns, at WrestleMania. Finishing his Story! The fighting all odds. The Rock. The people's champion, The Rock. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. Cody Rhodes is finishing his story, ladies and gentlemen. And the next match, probably they're building towards, is the tag team match versus the world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins, and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Going against the undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns and the People's Champion The Rock. This match is going to be an amazing match. Probably, I do understand why they want this as the main event of WrestleMania Night 1. But, um... I do really think that Bailey and Io Sky should really main event night one, but we'll see this match anyway. Any any way it can go, it's gonna be an amazing match for the WrestleMania card. Um, maybe Cody and Seth Rollins win there, um, and night two is where Cody Rhodes finishes his story, beating beating Roman Reigns finally. Um, but yeah, that's officially all the matches for WrestleMania this year. Probably this, this is what I think, but we'll see how I did, um, as the Mania card is starting to, uh, release and starting to get official. Anyway, guys, comment down below what you guys think of the build to WrestleMania this year. Uh, but anyway, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then.